Welcome back to my channel where we find out what's on the hook today. I'm Jeannie and this is my video channel on the hook and I'm glad that you're here. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. Those of y'all who follow me, I'm just excited to have some people who enjoy watching my videos. So I uh, welcome you back and uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. I wanted to talk today about what I have on right now. All right, this was on Crystal, my mannequin, last, I don't know, four or five videos ago. And uh, she looked quite beautiful in it. And I had her in the corner of my office and had brought her into a video to show a finished object that I had done and I had never worn because I just, I just didn't like it. It is a poncho, and I'll stand up just a second. My head will cut off here, but um, this is a poncho with a hole in it on each side for your arm, one over here. And uh, it's made in a kind of a granny square design, and the back is quite beautiful. Comes down at a nice point back there. It's plenty long, but it just wasn't for me. Let me get my poncho back over here. My mandala surprise is what I call it. <laughs> because when I got through making it, I was surprised at how much I didn't like it. I'm sure other people that have made it have loved it, but not me. It just wasn't for me. Well, a little story. I had left her in the corner, dressed up in my mandala surprise with the same, same blouse and necklace. She was over in the corner and she had been standing there for two or three days. And my husband came in my office and he said, what's that? And I said, well, that's my mandala surprise. It's the poncho that I don't like. And he said, I think it's beautiful. I really like that. And he walked over to it and he looked around at it and he said, why don't you ever wear this? And I said, I just really don't like it. I just really don't like it. And he says, well, I do. He says, I think it's beautiful. And I said, I'm thinking about giving that away. Uh, to one of my subscribers if they want it and you know more than lot more than happy to send it to somebody that might wear it and he said but I want you to wear it and I said well I'll wear it today so here it is I've got it on and I'm gonna go pick him up uh, we're gonna go have some lunch and uh, I'll wear it and if he still likes it I may keep it but then again he's not gonna be wearing it I am <laughs> So I may give it away. I don't know. It's just not a good pattern for me. But it's nice and warm, I will say. I'm warm as toast in this thing. And it's, uh, it's loose and it's very free and giving. There's plenty of room in it. Um, so somebody might like to have it. I'll wear it once, but that's it. All right. Uh, today I wanted to talk about also my Knit Crate yarn subscription. I know... Um, a video or two ago I talked about my Knit Crate March box came in and because I signed up in March and they were promoting new signups they offered a free Knit Crate box to new subscribers so I went out there and it was a I don't know $30 box for free $29.99 I think so I said I'll take it so I clicked the little button and both boxes came the same day and I've only talked about one but this is the free box that came and it's actually the January 2019 box. They must have had some left over and they thought yeah we'll put them on promotion. I understand all that. I'm totally there. But it's a very nice box. It came with lots of yarn and I'll show you in a minute what that looks like but First of all, this is the book that came with it, and I'm sure I'm late to the party again because it's March and I'm talking about the January box, but it's new to me. So I was, you know, very, very glad to get this. I love their pattern books because they're very professionally done. They're made on nice paper and they have some beautiful patterns in there. However, this one I wasn't all excited about because I just wasn't. Let me show you why. This is the front and it's very beautiful colorway that they have there for their sorry about that light I don't know what's with that um, but inside is the primo pattern that they're promoting here for crochet and it is a it's it's called an embrace okay that okay if you can't figure out what that is I didn't for the longest but here's somebody's arm right here 
So this girl has this thing on, she's got her arm stuck into it, and it's like a muff. And I know y'all that um, live up north probably use these way more than we do down here in the south. We don't have weather that would call for a muff. Uh, I don't know when I would wear a muff. You couldn't wear a muff if you're driving. You can't wear a muff when you're really walking. I guess you could, but you couldn't swing your arms. Uh, you can't wear a muff when you're crocheting or when you're cooking or when you're eating. So to me, it didn't seem like a really grand idea to offer a muff. And I didn't really want to spend a lot of time making a muff like this, especially because it just doesn't um, appeal to me. I know that some people probably loved it. I'm totally there. And especially if you live up north, maybe just sitting in a chair, you might enjoy warming up your hands in the muff. And the wool that they give you is probably very, very warm. And I, I think it's an awesome idea. The bobbles on here are double crochet seven together. That's part of the pattern. And so uh, it's, an interesting, it's an interesting pattern. But frankly, I won't be making that. And that's okay. I mean, it's not for everybody. This is the yarn that they sent. I got the whiskey color, which is quite gorgeous. This is really more my style than this, although I would have loved that too. But there were two different colors apparently they sent out and the brown either went to the crocheters or it just went to half the people, I don't know. This is the crochet designer, Tanya Bush. And she has a website called Nana's Crafty Home. And I've actually heard of that. I've never been to it, but there are thousands of crochet sites I haven't been to. So hers is one of them. And I appreciate the fact that she made it all the way to the Knit Crate pattern book because that's a big deal apparently. But her, uh, her idea about, about crochet, unlike mine, it's totally different. And that's why her pattern didn't uh, rock my world. But Quote, her goal is to always produce something colorful, easy, and fun, but unexpected. Many of her pieces are funky and unique accessories. Well, there you go. That's exactly what this is. And I, in an earlier day, I might have wanted to do it, but right now I don't. Here's another picture of the muff. No, it just didn't do it for me. But like I said, somebody might have loved to have made it. I, I think that's great. And the pattern looks a little bit uh, difficult. I'm not saying you couldn't do it, but it says intermediate skill level, and I would tend to agree with that. And then later in the book, um, they're also talking about socks, which I don't make. So uh, this pattern book was uh, not as useful to me as the last one, but I think it's beautiful. It's beautifully made, and for some people it's probably a real thrill, and they did exactly what it said. I, on the other hand, got the wool and I, it came in two hanks and the composition is worsted, well, it's worsted weight, number four, and it is 100% Peruvian Highland wool. Very nice, very nice. Um, and it's a beautiful wool. Here it is. I've, I've already rolled it into a cake with my ball winder swift, swift and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful colorway. I'll get it a little closer and maybe you can see it. It's just shades of tan, tan and cream. Beautiful shades though, absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to make it. And that said, I'm going to make it another way. And I'm gonna use all 400 yards because there are 200 yards on each cake. And I have 400 yards here that I can do what I want. And actually the name of the the yarn is Vita Lana, and that is exclusive to Knit Crate. So it's very beautiful, made in Peru, Peru, I suppose. I found this book, and I found this book, I'm sorry, I had a text coming in. I found this book online, and I saw it, and I thought, I have got to have that, and I'll tell you why. It is so interesting. This is called Mirror Image Scarves, and in my last video, I was talking about a scarf that I had made two videos ago, and I had made a mistake, and 
it was my brown cowl, long, long, long cowl pattern that I talked about in there and um, how I was saying that if you crochet a chain and then you crochet this way and get bigger and bigger, it's going to be off center. And I found this book called Mirror Image Scarves and I've looked at some of the patterns in here and the patterns are start at the bit at the I mean, I can see if you can see that at the middle there. That's your chain line. And then they are crocheted this way. And then you turn the scarf around and you crochet this just to mirror that side. What an excellent idea. I, I, it just came to me when I saw that. I thought, what? I need to try that. So I ordered the book. It was only like $4.99. It wasn't real expensive. And it has 11 scarves in it. And I'll just show you a couple because I, know I can't compromise the pattern. Um, this, is the, this is the one I really like. It's called Borders. Is that gorgeous or what? And I looked at the pattern and it's not hard to make. It's, you know, they're calling it an easy pattern in there, right? It's absolutely fantastic. And I'll put this off camera and just show you the picture. That's a picture of the completed scarf and in a different, if it's worn in a different way there than it was in the other picture. Gorgeous, gorgeous scarves. Here's an example of another one. This is called Maritime. I don't know why, but it's also a mirror image. And I think it's done in worsted weight as well. But most of them are, and there are a couple in here that are bulky weight, and those would be interesting to do. This is the one I've decided to use for my wool from the Knit Crate yarn subscription. This is called Arches, and it's very easy. It's like three rows on each side of the chain. So I should be able to finish it in pretty much no time. So I'm excited about that. And it takes 400 yards of number four yarn. So I'm, I'm set. The crochet hook is an eye and that's nice and big, so it should go quite fast. And I'll be making that. So this book was so cool. And I'm gonna give a little hint about my neck on my giveaway when I reach 100 subscribers. This will be part of the giveaway. This is, um, I bought two of these. I bought one for me and one for my giveaway. So this will be in the giveaway as well as some other things too. So I have a bag over here that I'm putting things into and the other book is in the bag. So I'm excited. I absolutely love this book. Every scarf in here is gorgeous. Here's another one. This is called Cascade. Is that gorgeous or what? And I've looked at the pattern, they're not hard. It's, it's not difficult at all to make. A special scarf for somebody for Christmas or for yourself to match your winter coat? Oh my, I'm excited, I'm excited. So I just wanna ask you to come back and join me to find out what's on the hook.